there's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. Conveniently pay for my utility bills, my son's cartoon network on DSTV, and renew my internet services package. I can securely send my sweet mother her monthly allowance by simply transferring funds from my bond account into hers. I can also pay the gardener through any of the mobile money platforms available. I can verify if the check to the vendor has cleared. Now let me guess my sister is here at time so I can peacefully go back to sleep. With Bond Mobile app, you can do your banking anywhere. Download the Bond Mobile app on Apple Play Store or Google Play Store today. Bond, your success, our passion. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential, always listening always understanding. The National Science and Math Quiz is the longest running independent production on television. It's the one program that brings education authorities, teachers, allied staff, students, old students associations and parents together in support of science education at the senior high school rank of the education ladder. The objectives of the National Science and Math Quiz are to promote the study of the sciences and mathematics to help senior high school students develop quick thinking skills and a probing and scientific mind about things around them, 
to promote healthy academic rivalry between senior high schools. To a lesser degree, keep old students still interested in their schools and encourage them to offer help to their alma mater. To inculcate a degree of science culture in the Ghanaian society for all to see science as a way of life. Let's take a walk down memory lane and see how far we have come in 25 years. The idea was not proposed at a national science fair or conference, but rather on the tennis court of the University of Ghana, Legon, where Mr. Kweku Mensa Bonsu, then managing director of Prime Time, was at the court to play the game after his own heart with his playmate, the late Professor Ebenezer Kweku Awache, Professor of Animal Science. Mr. Mensa Bonsu was curious as to why birds could stand on a live electric wire without getting electrocuted, but human beings could not do so. From Professor Kweku Awache's explanation, Mr. Mensa Bonsu got the idea of a quiz program focused on scientific explanations behind everyday phenomena, in addition to the topics from the regular science curriculum for senior high schools. Thus, it all began 25 years ago in April 1993. Since then, the National Science and Math Quiz NSMQ has seen 22 exciting additions. Selecting the quiz mistress and the gender was entirely my decision. So one Saturday evening after tennis, we were sitting in Commonwealth Hall Senior Common Room and then Marianne was there. So I just said, ah, he said, you talk to Marianne. Have you spoken with her? I said, no, I'm going to talk to her. So I talked to Marianne. Then Dr. Marianne Adi, later Professor Marianne Adi. I told her about the program and uh, that I needed a quiz mistress. I wanted a quiz mistress. And she said, but why me? I said, you because you are a female scientist with a PhD. Can you imagine? the impact that this would have on the, on the children, especially the girls. That I want you to be the quiz mistress, whether you like it or not. In fact, I've selected you as the quiz mistress. And she had a good laugh. I said, okay, I'll do it. And then when Marianne was leaving the program after seven years, and this um, she recommended Eureka MFA at Dubaco. And uh, the first time I met her, I said, well, of course, if you're called Eureka, that's a name that came out of mathematics. So then, you are a quiz mistress. I met Dr. Kaufman at a program, and she and uh, Professor Alote came to my office to talk to me about some mathematics competition or science, international science competition. And I went and talked to Dr. Autry. I've met her only once, but I think from the way she spoke and the way she carried herself. And I just said, well, strange, that's the person I was also thinking about. So I said, well, your job is cut out for you now. Our three quiz mistresses have all been great, I must say. There would have been no excitement without very interesting and well-crafted questions. The nature of the competition requires that questions be of equal strength and difficulty at each stage of the conference.
welcome to the 2018 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. We are in the quarterfinals. This is the beginning of the Money Zone, sponsored by GCB Bank. What this means is that each point end is worth five Ghana CDs. That means no one here is going to leave empty-handed. At the end of the contest, we will calculate and give the money out based on points and to the three cont contestants for each school and one teacher. Thank you, GCB Bank. This is the last of the quarterfinal contests. The contest features Accra Academy. Islam Senior High School. And Prempe College. Let's meet the contestants. Islamic Senior High School. Islamic Senior High School is represented by Ibrahim Abdul Rahman, final year. Abdullah Zaidan Muhammad, final year. You are welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much, madam. How are you doing? We are doing good. Wonderful. What does it feel like to be in the quarterfinals? What does it mean to you? Well, you see, to be a very big privilege to be here. Because mm -hmm. many schools came, but they left, and we are one of the we are one of the schools who are here. So you see, it to be a very big privilege for us. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Talking about schools coming and going, your school. Can you tell us a little bit more about your school? Madam, Islam Senior High School. It was established in the year 1958. It is located at uh, Abrapo, uh, Kumasi, that's in the Ashanti region. And we started science just some few years ago. All right. But Allah being so good, we find ourselves here, yeah, so we uh, see to be a All right. What shall we expect for this contest? Madam. Nothing but the best. And we are here to also answer our questions. We are not, uh, we, we don't care about which school we are meeting. We are here to do our best wishes. Thank you. Prempe College. College is represented by Bafu or CCB. You are welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you doing? We are fine. fine. Quarterfinals. Oh, no, no, let me announce you properly. You are reigning champions. Right? Yes. Okay. And you are in the quarterfinals. What does that mean? We thank God very much for our victory last time. And we believe we are going to use this contest as a platform to glorify God. I see. All right. So what shall we expect? We expect that our end be the glory of God. Okay. Best wishes to you. Accra Academy. Accra Academy is represented by Ejawi Nicholas, final year. And Damoji Raphael, final year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you. madam.
How are you doing? We are fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Wonderful. So you are in the quarterfinals. Yes, sir. What does it mean to you? It means a great deal, and we thank God for bringing us this far. All right, wonderful. We need to hear a little bit about your school. Today, I'm going to find out the meaning of that sound, Leo. So, a bit about your school and explanation. What does it mean? Yeah. Along the Accra to Miniba Road, a tall tower shadows the campus of Accra Academy. The Accra Academy was built on the shoulders of four young men, all under the ages of 30. Since its inception in 1931, the Accra Academy has grown to become a great prestigious school. Blau originated as a result of our success during one of the sport competitions held in Ghana. Yes. What happened at that competition? We won victoriously. I see. So it's a victory cry. Yes, madam. Okay. This contest, what are we expecting from you? Well, this contest, we hope to give out our best. Yes. That's it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, best wishes to you then. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Viewers, we've met the contestants. Very determined, ready to start, and ready to win. But before I sit down, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We also have support from GCB Bank, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, Lancaster University, Ghana, Academic City College, West African Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens, WACBIB, Awake Purified Drinking Water, GTP, MFA Jewelry, and Hottie Makeup. The mentorship sessions are sponsored by Bond Savings and Loans and RMG Ghana. And SciTech Fair 2018 was sponsored by Goyle, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, and Talo Ghana Limited. Our media sponsors are City FM and Joy News. This is a prime time production. <laughs> My name is Elsie Fakoffman. I'm your quiz mistress. Contestants, the contest as always comes to you in five rounds. The first round is a round for fundamental concepts. The questions are simple and direct. I'm expecting simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, a bonus point. If not, there's a penalty, one point. For questions that require calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations, you have 10 seconds to do so. All of the questions are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. I'm going to start with you, Islamic Senior High School. The first set of questions will require about 10 seconds of time. Islamic. Give the product when lithium trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Yes, Abdul Rahman. Thank you. Please, madam, we have the product to be 
lithium oxide, nitrogen one oxide, and oxygen gas. That's incorrect. For bonus. The right answer, lithium dioxonitrate 3 and oxygen. Accra Academy, give the product when silver trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Yes, Ejari. Madam, please. NO2 gas will be produced as well as O2 gas and also aging 2 o hmm. Aging? No. For bonus. The right answer. AG, silver. Nitrogen 4 oxide and oxygen. I'm expecting you to get them all right. Prempe College, give the product when lead to trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Yes, Bafuwa. Madam, the products are lead 2 oxide nitrogen four oxide and oxygen gas. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble. Preamble to all schools. Find the value of the constant K if the given curve passes through the given point A. I hope you got the preamble. All right, so um, Islamic, y is equal to 5 plus k multiplied by tangent of x passes through a which has coordinates pi over 4, 8. Abdul Rahman. K equals three. Yes. <laughs> Accra Academy. Y is equal to seven plus K multiplied by cosine of X passes through the point A with coordinates zero, five. Yes, Raphael. Um, K is equal to negative 2. Yes. <laughs> With the same preamble, Y is equal to K plus 5 multiplied by sine of X passes through the point A with coordinates pi over 2, negative 5. Yes, uh, Apia. K equals negative 10. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 10 seconds, and I have a preamble. Preamble. Distinguish between the endocrine and nervous systems with respect to the following. I hope you got that. All right, so Islamic, pathways. Yes, uh, Zaidan. Please, madam, for the endocrine system, the pathway is the blood, whereas the nervous system, the pathway is through nerves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Accra Academy with the same preamble. Type of action and response. Ejare. Madam, the response for the nervous system is faster. But for that of the endocrine system, the response is slow. And also, the type of action is either the, for the nervous system is electrical, with, but for the endocrine is chemical means. I'm not accepting that for bonus. All right. So the type of action and response for the endocrine system is always involuntary, whereas that of the nervous system is either voluntary or involuntary. Premper College, with the same preamble, the duration of effect. Yes, Apia. Okay, Madam, for the endocrine system, the duration of response is very long, whereas the duration of response of the nervous system is very short or quick. Two out of three. Yes, for the nervous system is short, it's short lived. But the endocrine system, the duration can be short or long. Next set, 30 seconds. Islamic, silicon 35, atomic number 14, decays by beta minus emission with a half-life of 780 milliseconds. Determine the rate at which a sample containing 10 to the power 15 atoms of silicon 35, atomic number 14, emits electrons. Abdul Rahman. We have the rate to be two atoms per second. That's incorrect for bonus. The right answer is 8.9 times 10 to the power 14 per second. Accra Academy. Silicon 36. Atomic number 14 also decays by beta minus emission, but with a half-life of 450 milliseconds. Determine the rate at which a sample containing 10 to the power 15 atoms of silicon 36, atomic number 14, emits electrons. Yes, Raphael. Well, um, you have 1.8 times 10 to the power 14 per second. That's incorrect for a bonus. Which of you? Bafo wa? You have 1.5 by 10 to the power 15 per second. Yes. Your major question. Aluminium 28, atomic number 13, decays by beta minus emission with a half-life of 135 seconds. Determine the rate at which a sample containing 10 to the power 15 atoms of aluminium 28 Atomic number 13 emits electrons. Mm -hmm. 
Bafuwa. To use it. Um, um, now we have 5.0 by 10 to the power 12 per second. That's incorrect. For a bonus. Yes, which of you, please? Raphael. Well, um, 3.13 times 10 to the power 12 per second. No. The right answer is 5.1 times 10 to the power 12 per second. Next set, 10 seconds each, and I have a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Rusting of iron is considered to operate like a voltaic cell. It starts with a drop of water on the surface of the iron sheet. Did you get the preamble? All right. So rusting of iron is considered to operate like a voltaic cell. It starts with a drop of water on the surface of the iron sheet, some iron sheet. Okay, that's the preamble. So now, uh, Islamic. Which reaction constitutes the cathode of the cell in the rusting process? Abdul Rahman. Okay, madam. We have uh, Fe2 plus plus two electron going to form Fe, which forms the reaction at the cathode. No, that's incorrect for bonus. Okay, so the cathode. At the edge of the drop, the water is in contact with oxygen. There is reduction of oxygen in the presence of water to give the hydroxide ion. So the reaction actually is oxygen gas, O2, plus 2H2O, plus 4 electrons, going to 4OH minus aqueous. That's the reaction. All right, with the same preamble, Accra Academy. Which reaction constitutes the anode of the cell in the rusting process? Yes, um, Ajari. That's the oxidation of the ion. We have ion solid going to Fe2 plus aqueous plus two electrons. All right. And by the way, this will be taking place in the middle of the drop. All right. Premier College, how does the rust color form? I'm expecting a reaction. Yes, Bafuwa. Madam, the ion 2 plus, that's Fe2 plus from the anode, which occurs in the middle of the drop will be further oxidized to ion 3 plus. And the reaction is Fe2 plus moving into Fe3 plus plus an electron. And then the Fe3 plus will react with the hydroxide ions from the, uh, from the cathode 